All right, good afternoon. We're back with Coach Marshman. Baseball season's underway. We've had a couple of games already. We had that big scrimmage game a couple of weeks back. Coach, the 2A state champions, Bob Delia, they come to town. You guys, state championship squad yourself in the, in the tournament last year. That was a big game. That was a scrimmage game. I know you guys, both squads, were just kind of looking at everybody. But I, I thought that was a really well-played ball game. For the, for the first game of the season, it was definitely a, a well-played game when you, when you think about the score. It was 2-1, to one, uh, clearly not a lot of offense. Uh, I thought we actually hit the ball pretty decent in that game. Um, the best thing that came out of that game for us was um, we, we were able to throw seven pitchers in, in the game, and, and all of them were relatively effective. Um, now, uh, Vade is always a good team. They're always a, a good squad. Uh, and they did win the, the state championship, double-A state championship last year. But they, they graduated, I believe, seven or eight of their starters. Oh, yeah, so, so that's a big you know, hit. It's, a, it's a huge hit. You know, we, we graduated four or five starters, and it's a huge hit for us. So just imagine seven or eight. So, uh, But, uh, you know, they played hard, and, and uh, we, we found a way to, to, to come back. You know, we were down one zip, and I was proud of that. But um, the, the best thing that happened about that game, other than the win, of course, winning is always – great absolutely but it was with being able to throw seven guys in the game i thought that was super beneficial and uh it helps make plans for games on down the road yeah that, made, that, that, that looked real good when the pitching staff that night every one of them i thought pitched very well i mean by day you didn't go off on anybody it was it was a well well played pitching defensive game yep all around, all, all around, around good game. Both teams, I think, uh, uh, played played pretty well. Uh, neither team was exceptional offensively, of course, two to one. Uh, but uh, both teams were solid on defense. Both teams threw a lot of strikes. So for first game of the season, a scrimmage game, uh, it, it was definitely a good game. And, and so next year we'll we'll go to Bay Day and play them at their place next year. When you go to, when you go into a game like that, a scrimmage game like, that, and you're evaluating things, what 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 are you what are you looking for? Uh, basically, I'm just looking for what we've been seeing in practice. Uh, you know, you got some people who are who are under the lights guys, and some people who are practice guys. You know, um, a lot of times a guy who hasn't been practicing well will show you something in the game that looks right. a little bit different. And then a lot of guy, a lot of times, who guys who practice well, they get the game, and the moment's too big, and they kind of you know, shrink up a little the, bit. The lights, the lights change things. The lights get too bright, you know, and and. Uh, didn't really see a lot of that, just a little bit of that in the first game, but I think we did see a little bit of that last night. Um, and it, it's a concern because, you know, last night it was for real, um, and which is what we're going to talk about next. But uh, I think we can overcome it, and we just got to do a little bit more practice, and we, we got to find ways to, to get a little, little, little tougher uh, mentally and, and, and move forward from there. Yeah, I thought, I thought last night the only thing that I really thought was, I don't even know if you'd call it a negative, I thought the bats were just a little off. A lot off. Is that would you describe it like that? A lot off, extremely off. Oh, really? We yeah. had three hits, two or three hits, and and uh, you know we had opportunities with runners in scoring position, and we just couldn't find a way to come through. Uh, our, our pitchers were getting in difficult counts, which was giving them better opportunities to to hit the ball hard. Um, we just we just I don't know. We and we, we just did like I said, we did some strange things. We did some things that in the game that we haven't been seeing in practice, and so. You know, today we're gonna we're gonna take a step back and, and, and reflect on that game, and and try to find a way to get back to some basic fundamentals and make sure that we carry those fundamentals into the game tomorrow. I know um, on the on the pitching side out there, how do how do you feel about your pitchers last night? I thought they did fairly well. Like you said, they kind of fell behind the count a few times, but uh, is that does that put the batter in total control when that happens, or is it still something the pitchers can? Well, I think that the, the, the pitchers did fairly well, too. But, I mean, are we looking for fairly well? You know, we, 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 we have to do a little bit better. And, and to your point, we did fall behind the count a lot. That gives the hitter a, a, a better opportunity or more of an advantage. And uh, we just did some things that were uncharacteristic of, of, of our team. And uh, it's my hope that we can kind of get back on track to, to the way that's, that's probably best for us moving forward. And, and we just we just did some strange things last night, uh, from, from on the mound to on defense to on the plate. It, 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 
it wasn't a good night. It was not a good night. And of course we lost. So, you know, sometimes you can be off and you can find a way to rally in the end and yeah. come back and get the win, like Vidalia. Uh, and then other nights, you know, the other team just plays more sound. And they, the other team, uh, uh, you know, that being Bronze they pitched better, they ran the bases better, they played defense better. They won the game. Their, their, their center fiddle had two huge throws that stopped two of our runs. That's that's correct. I mean, that, was, and if, that was a huge throw out the first one. That is correct. And that they executed the play properly where we had a breakdown in execution offensively. But the normal person wouldn't see that watching the game. You know what I mean? So right. but it, it happened that run should have scored, but it didn't because they executed mm. defensively, we failed to execute offensively. Gotcha. But then again, that's only one more run. The final was four to two. It's not enough anyway. So um, we we just got to find a way to. We got to do more. We got to be better, and uh, and and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna work on that today for sure. Well, that, well, that's the nice thing about this non-region schedule. I mean, yeah, you want to win them all. Yeah. But it does give you an opportunity to correct that those things before you hit that region schedule sure. where everything counts. Sure. Yeah. And we we threw three pitchers last night, and Ian probably could have went a little bit longer if we needed him to, but. That's not what last night was for. We, we got more than enough from him. And uh, and I think he'll be the first to tell you that, that, that he wished he'd have pitched a little bit better last night. Uh, and I got 100% confidence that the next time he comes out, he's going to be shut down and uh, he's going to be a, a shut down pitcher and he's going to be ready to go. Uh, but then, you know, we, we had a threw a 10th grader in there after that with, with Chase and then we threw a ninth grader in that after Griffin. And those guys, Regardless of what grade you're in, you, the expectation is still the same once you take the field. So um, we'll talk more about that today, and and because it don't get any easier, you know, with with, with the teams coming up. I, I'm going back to last night's game just a little bit. The pregame, Andy Gowan, you guys honor Andy Gowan. That's right. He threw that strike on the inside corner last night. You know, I told him I sat on the air, Jack. Better watch out. That's right. Andy might be after his job here. Well, but Andy does such a huge. I mean, just everything sure. for Indians baseball. Sure, uh, just about every improvement you see around this field, he, he had a hand in it, and uh, we, we, we couldn't be grateful enough. Uh, thank the Lord we have him. Uh, and and I, I thank God for all his kids, because uh, I've had his kids. They've all come through this program, and and, yeah. and, and every one of them have, have helped us win really big games. So yeah, uh, Andy's contributed in more ways than, than, than just a few, you know. Uh, he's he has helped tremendously uh, with with what goes on at this field and improvements, uh, but his his kids are also a big part of our program as well, and I'm I'm truly thankful for for all of it. I talked I talked about Will last night, you know, back when I first started. You guys got me hooked on this stuff, yeah. you know, with the streaming, and back in 2012, you know, we had a couple of guys get hit by balls last night, and I told Savvy, I said, look, that 2012 squad had some guys that would have just stood there. And I mean, 90 mile an hour right here in the shoulder. Will Gowan, one of them. Those guys, LJ, Scott Birch, all those guys, they'll take those hits, man. They're like playing football out there, coach. It's interesting that you said that. That was a big part of the conversation that we had uh, yesterday after the game. It's not about, you know, comparing this team to that team, but it's about can we do what it takes to win the game? Right. And those guys were winners for a reason. Yeah. Because they'll do what it takes to win the game. Yeah. So. Yeah, they, they would. I've, uh, I've had uh, personal talks with Scott over the years while he was uh, in charge of the feed store. And he said that it was just, they wanted it. You know, I mean, there was an energy. There was yeah. an energy there. That's right. And they did. And that's why they were so successful. These guys are going to get there. We're going to get there, too. We just yeah, got yeah. oh, to yeah. find a way to get it out of them and get them to believe and get them to, to move in the direction that we're trying to push them into. And, and uh and, and those guys, uh, you know, like you said, Scott Birchall and, and, and Scott Beasley and, and all those Gowan kids, they helped lay the foundation for what we expect uh, when, when, when the idiots yeah. take the field. So uh, we'll, we'll find it. It's just going to take a minute. That's, what you go, that's when you go back to what you said just a few moments ago about fairly well. Do we expect fairly well around here? That's Not right. really. <laughs> no, we don't. That's right. We don't expect to pitch fairly well. We expect yeah. to do well, right? And, we, and, and then we need other guys to be excellent. Right. That's yeah. that's how you win, win that's games. That's baseball. That's how you win games against good teams like Brunswick last night. You yeah. get you got everybody's got to play well, and then somebody or a couple somebody's got to be excellent, and mm -hmm. uh, they just got to do a little bit more. And, and and if everybody takes that mindset, you know, I need to do a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Everybody's pitching in a little bit more. All of a sudden, you got a lot. So yeah. that's 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 what we it's, want. It's that extra off to get you that state championship game. That's correct. 
hey, on the on the defensive side, out out in the outfield. I didn't realize how fast Gant Geiger is. Mm -hmm. That young man has some wheels out there in center field. Oh yeah, Gant, Gant runs well. I mean, he's he's always ran well, and uh, you know, it was he, he's you know he's being a team player right now. You know, he's mm -hmm. he's accepting that new role um, as a center field. Now he's still going to play shortstop for us too, but mm -hmm. but he's accepting that role in center field, and, and he's working on it, and he's getting better at it each day, and and. Uh, we have all the confidence in the world that he can go get the fly ball, you know, like like you witnessed as well. But he's always ran well. He's a good base runner too. So, um, yeah, I mean Hayes does a good job out there in center field as well. Uh, we even have you know Isaiah Baker can play out there if we need to. Um, but you know, uh, uh, Gant's Gant will be on the mound at shortstop center field, so he's going to be moving around a little bit. But you'll see that on several several players. Right. Got to work out you got the Ware County Gators coming to right. town. Yeah. First pitch, 5:30. Mm -hmm. um, what are you expecting out of your out of your time today? I know you said you guys are going to kind of reevaluate from last night. Right. What, yeah. So, you, you, just some little expectations, things that we do. You know, we we had a hard time uh, yesterday before the game, kind of getting going and, and and you know playing our role before the game. You know, there's there's right. things that have to be done before you get started, and there's pregame and there's batting practice, all this kind of stuff. And we're just a little bit out of whack on that stuff right now. And maybe that's just because this the season's new, and, and some mm -hmm. people are just not quite ready for the routine. And we got a bunch of new faces with these ninth graders. Yeah. Um, so, um, you know, we're just going to try to get into a better routine, uh, make sure the expectations are understood, uh, because I think there might be some non, you know, some 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 things that just aren't very clear right now, and that's my fault. So I'm going to help to clear those things up, and then and then. And once again, we're going to play a really good Ware County team. Those guys are going to be good, man. And uh, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see what, what we can do tomorrow. We'll hopefully, we can play well, a little better than last night in front of our home crowd. And a full house out here tomorrow night. Yeah. Is that, this, this whole complex is going to be crazy. Listen, it, it, is, it is so exciting right now. We got you know baseball just getting started against a good opponent. Ware. We got basketball over here. Uh, uh, they're and, killing and, and, it over there. Just, man, it's it, it, it's awesome. So it, it's going to be a wild. There's battle. a lot to do this weekend in Folkston. You yeah, know, it's going to be a great, Friday. A great fall you got week. baseball games and basketball games Thursday and Friday, folks. So. I, I told the fans last night, Coach. I said you can go watch basketball, Maidens and Clinch at yeah. four o'clock. Come over here at 5.30, because they'll be done about 5.15. That's right. Come over here at 5.30, watch two and a half hours of baseball. Yeah. And back over there and catch the Indians and Lanier yep. at 8.30. That'd be just a full day, man. If you're bored in Charlotte County more, you should have a problem. Yep, that's right. <laughs> he says what that. a day. What a day tomorrow's going to be. Yeah, so that's that's awesome. And good for our community, you know, and, yeah. and just, just those things to do to come out, come to the field, come to the court. You know, come have a hot dog, come have a bag of popcorn, you know, just uh, uh, spend some time watching these uh, Charlotte County athletes. Pretty cool. It's wild. I, I talked to Dusty a little bit today. He said he's going to be a busy man. Yeah. He's going to be a busy man. He's all over the place. Now, I know, uh, I know, obviously, you're concentrating on your Indians and the Gators tomorrow night. Right. But it, you, you've called some games with me on basketball, and I know you're a huge supporter of what Coach Bailey's done over there in the basketball team as well. Yeah. Listen, I mean, you know what can you say when you when you have a season when what are they twenty three and two or twenty four and two something like that? Yeah, so that's just that's phenomenal. It's extraordinary, and I, and I don't care what league you're playing in. You know when 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 you got a good squad, everybody's going to try to give you their best punch, and everybody's going to come at you hard. And uh, I'm I'm proud of the success that they've been able to have over there. And, 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 and you know you you talking about a team who's who's who having that kind of success, and then all. You know, every week you just gotta get a little bit better, get a little yeah. bit better, because the team's gonna start getting tougher now every time, every round. And, and this is something week. that 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 that, that our, our basketball boys and Coach Bailey, they they, they know that because you know they went through it last year, and now you and you got you know everybody with a, another year of experience. So I look for them to do some big things. It's gonna it's gonna be a lot of fun, Coach. Yeah, you know, tomorrow, like I said, first pitch for you guys, five thirty. Yes, sir. Five thirty right here and then uh, everything else going on around us. Now, uh, Sammy's going to have you guys tomorrow night. Okay. You guys are going to be on charltonsportsnet.com, not on the YouTube channel tomorrow night. I'll have basketball on the YouTube channel over okay. there. So, baseball fans, you guys go to charltonsportsnet.com. I tried to simplify it this year, so all the fans have to do, 